What's going on guys? It's Toaster Tuesday. It's Brandon, it's Extreme Daily Drivers, and today I'm giving you the top five reasons why I hate the XB. Oh, this damn car. All right, let's go ahead and get it started with number five, which is going to be the front end of this car, including the windshield, man, because the front end of this vehicle is just a wall. <laughs> when you're driving down the road, every single thing in the world that could possibly be kicked up gets kicked up and it's hitting your bumpers. It's hitting your headlights. It's hitting the front of your hood. I mean, oh, good Lord, look at the war wounds across the top here. Oh. Yeah, man, the front end takes a beating on this car. Good news is I've had the front end repainted, so it's not nearly that bad. You guys know I've replaced the headlights, I've replaced the front grille, and I've replaced my windshield, but you know what? <laughs> Even replacing your windshield doesn't make it foolproof because in less than a year, I got this guy. Yeah, super annoying. I was driving on I-4 and I wasn't even tailgating because you can't tailgate in this car. You'll get something kicked up on your windshield for sure. Wasn't tailgating, it was actually a truck in the opposite lane. Kicked a stone up and hit right here and caused the crack. So yeah, one of the things I hate about this car is this front end. All right, so coming in at number four, it's the armrest, or lack thereof. Yeah, no armrest. The armrest was an add-on that you had to purchase from the dealer, and man, it was this janky, cheesy, horrific, creaky, elbow-killing piece of plastic that mounted in a stupid way, and uh, it had zero padding, and it was just, <laughs> it's just a disaster. I've had them before. Uh, the one nice thing about them is the fabric actually matches the fabric in the car, but there are no good armrest options in this car. There just aren't any. I know some of you guys are going to tell me you got one off eBay for 60 bucks that you love and everything like that. I don't like those things, man. They don't look right in these cars. They're, they're black. They got like chrome on them. They're, they're, they're just, they're just ugly. So the problem with the car is there's really no armrest solution. I mean, nine times out of 10, I drive with my hand on the e-brake handle, just like this, as opposed to an armrest, you know, or you got your window down and you're hanging out the window. You got to come up with some solution because there's absolutely nothing here. If sign was smart, they would, they would have put a kind of like pop down armrest here, like a real captain's chair, because that's kind of what these seats are. And it would have been so much better, but you know what? They chinsed out. They gave us that crappy armrest. And that's why one of the things I hate about the Cyan XB is its armrest or lack thereof. All right, coming in at number three of things I hate about the Cyan XB, it's the air conditioning. Yeah, man, the air conditioning in this car is adequate at best. I mean, it's pretty darn weak, man. It's pretty darn weak. Let's just admit it. It's a small engine with a small air conditioning compressor, and it just doesn't pump out the AC like my old Jeep Commander does, man. That V8, it's got a compressor the size of a garbage can, man. The air conditioning is just freezing cold just sitting there. But this car, like I said, man, adequate at best. You're going down the highway, lots of air is going through the condenser. You know, the air conditioning's fine. It's pretty darn cold. But when you're in stop and go traffic and it's 95 like it is out today, man, you're dying in this thing. I mean, it, it like I said, it's, it's adequate. It does the job. But man, there are a lot of cars out there that have way better solutions than what we got here in the old box. So that's why for me, air conditioning, number three, things I hate about the Cyan XB. of it because of the shape of it because how light it is 
it's okay to drive distance. I mean, it's comfortable, but it's not the greatest, man. It's just not the greatest on the highway. It's just, it's just kind of a pain. You know, you know, I got this thing low to the ground. It doesn't take bumps all that well. It's jittery, it's bouncy. So yeah, I wish there'd be some kind of improvement so it's better on the highway. Really what it needs is a longer wheelbase and a wider wheelbase. But hey, if we're gonna do that, we're gonna change the little car around and we're not gonna have our little precious box anymore. So yeah, driving around the highway at speeds, not the greatest in the old Scion XB. the Scion XB is how slow it is. Oh my god. Dude, it is slow. It is so slow, especially in the summertime with the air conditioning on. It is just brutal, bro. Admit it. Admit it. It's brutal. Now, the XB's got a lot of good things going for it. It's lightweight. It's 2,400 pounds. It has 100 horsepower, 100 foot-pounds of torque, and that's great for the city. That really is. You can really scoot around the city. I talked about in the last video, five things I love about the Scion XB. But everyday driving, and I'm driving at like, oh my God, I'm probably at 100 feet above sea level. For you guys who live in Tennessee, who live in Colorado, who live at some kind of high altitude, I don't know how you do it with these cars. And if you have an automatic, holy crap. Holy crap. I don't know why you're not just walking, because holy cow, you can't get any slower. But yeah, man, these things are slow. You have to drive them like you stole them. To make them move down the road and enjoy them, you gotta have a five speed. And man, if you can you do the intake mod that I did a video on, get yourself at least a header. I mean, I did a video on that. Maybe an exhaust, something, any way to increase air in and air out to give yourself something. I mean, if you get five extra horsepower out of those mods, it's worth it. So yeah, man, this thing's slow as molasses, and that's why it's number one of the things I hate about the Scion XB. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Just for the record, I really don't hate all these things about the Scion XB. I'm really exaggerating with the word hate. There are more dislikes. You learn to live with these problems, and really, it's not that bad. You guys know I love the car. It's a great car. But every car is going to have some shortcomings. And these are my top five. So anyway, let me know down below what are your top five. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Share this thing with everybody that you know. Let's grow this channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Another Cyanex B video. Happy Toaster Tuesday. I'll talk to you later, man. Peace.